Okay, so first up, I'm just going to show you, like, if I'm starting to teach horses to go straight, which obviously we need for a centre line, you can use the, um, you can use three quarter lines, and then also you can get them in twice. So if you just use a centre line, you can only do it once, and then you have to go back round or do a little circle and then go again. Whereas three quarter lines, good boy, see the camera, um, you can do twice. So I really, I mostly focus on keeping control of the shoulder because I find like if I've got control of the shoulder, then I can get control of the hind legs better. Good boy. Really important as well that they're in front of your leg when you're trying to get them to go straight because if they're dwaddling, they can go left and right a little bit more. Um, because what you're doing as well, I'm not challenging him to go round the corner yet. I want to build his confidence in it. But then what I'll show you now is how you get around those pesky corners. Now this is the hardest part for horses that are struggling with it. I'm not going to take him in the corners. I'm going to do a half 20 meter circle and make the angle as easy as possible. No dramatic turns, no dramatic. You can see here, even he's losing this balance. Good. No, we don't need a flying change today. That's not what we're doing. Okay, and if you can't get around the corner and you've tried and you're getting like frustrated, then I'll show you what to do in that situation. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna come away here. You're gonna aim for A and then you're gonna trot. Good. So all you're doing is breaking the exercise down. Okay, what's the easier version of that? How can I make that more manageable for my horse? at this stage and that is okay I'm going to do one corner and then I'm going to trot and then they'll gain confidence and they'll go okay we can do this good here he's a little bit getting on the forehand so just a little soften up in the rain and now I'm going to do my half 20 really making it as loopy as possible staying really soft in my body almost no no, no it sounds stupid doing a little shimmy with the shoulders a little chasse, keeping everything So guys, today's lesson, PF. Oh, hell no! Step one, the lift and hold. Step two, the hop. And finally, the PF. So guys, are you ready? Is everybody listening? Are you all in class? So remember guys, lesson one, we are lifting and holding our legs. Step two, guys at the back row, walk and lift. And then the piaf guys, bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. So now, do you all understand? Hi, today I'm going to explain how to put on bandages. Make sure your horse is clean. Today we're going to use some Kentucky Underwrap Suit Lamisel bandages. I prefer to put them in the middle, like this. When I put them on, I make sure the end of my uh, underwrap is not on the tendon behind. And then I adjust if needed. If it's too high, I put it a little bit lower. And then I just roll my bandage off. Today I'm going to share how to teach your horse to do a flying change. So you start by trying to come around and do a simple change. So that's the transition through walk. Then you want to pick up canter quite quickly. Then you want to come around and do that again with less walk strides. So a couple and then quickly ask for canter. Then lastly, you want to come around. You want to try and have no walk strides and ask for canter. And then you can practice this. And the more you do it, the quicker you should get. And then voila, change. Today we're going to do running button braids for horses with long manes. 
First, you wanna spray down your section with water or quick braid. This is actually water in the bottle that I'm using. Next, you wanna part your first section. When you begin braiding, remember to lift the section upward for the first few sections and then proceed downward with your traditional braid. There is no need to braid all the way down. Secure the bottom with an elastic. Create a hole through the top section and leave it through. Now we are gonna start with our next section. And the only thing different about this section is you're actually going to add in that hair and take off the band and integrate it into the braid. You will continue this process all the way down the neck. Once you are finished with the braid, fasten the remaining buttons with elastic. This will help for all day hold. And there you are, a very classy way to braid a long mane.